And gas and fuel certainly remain a big problem these days. Drivers everywhere feeling the pain at the pump with those higher prices. And tonight, we are learning those costs only going up now. Potentially $5 a gallon in just weeks. You heard that right. WJZ live at 11 o'clock. Kelsey Kushner, she went right to the experts. And Kelsey, it is going to get worse before it gets better, correct? Yeah, Rick, it's not really the news that we want to hear, of course, but officials say because of that summer weather, there's a lot more drivers who are out on the road now taking trips, and it's driving that spike back up, of course, among other things. Here, I'm standing at West Cold Spring Lane, off West Cold Spring Lane. There is 49 cents until the regular gallon of gas is at $5 a gallon, which is prices that we've never really seen before, and drivers that I spoke with today say these prices are getting out of control. Prices at the pump it's just ridiculous. are no joke. I drive from station to station looking for the lowest price. With the summer travel season here, drivers are paying record high prices to fuel up. I just filled up with a half a tank and it's $37. Across the country, gas prices continue to soar, expected to hit $5 a gallon on average by mid June. I find myself staying home more. If I don't have to go out, I try not to. Professor J.P. Crayol at Loyola University, Maryland, says the summer travel season and the war in Ukraine are driving up the prices. All of the things that are increasing demand don't show any signs of stopping. The things that are reducing supply don't show any signs of stopping. Right now, the national average is $4.67. Here in Maryland, we're looking at $4.60. That's up from $4.26 just one month ago. And diesel sits at $5.89. $74 to fill up your tank. Is that painful to see? Oh, yeah. It was only 50 some last week. Drivers like Jim Fisher say the cost is cutting deep into his pocket. It's not easy. I know it's not. And a lot of people are financially hurting. And now maybe the time to switch to electric. Professor Crail says that although gas cars right now are cheaper, he says in the long run you might actually save a lot more money if you do switch to electric. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Kushner for WJC.